Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at uh, particle systems associated with objects and how to emit the particles from different locations as you're moving around. So uh, this is from the previous lesson here, so we'll just, we'll just pick one. We'll pick something simple like this, this cube here like this. Now, if we're in local axis mode no, normally. No, these are joined objects from the previous lesson. You can see it's moving on the local axis. If I change it to a global, it would change it, move it y-axis in this case like this. All right, and this could come into play uh, really importantly here with the particles. So let's add a particle system to these here. In fact, let's just get the particle, add a basic particle system, and let's just use the default settings for the moment, except we'll make the lifetime a little bit longer like this. And we'll come down here, and normally what we've done in particle systems in the past is we've emitted things from the normal because that's what the default value is. It says the normal. That means it's emitting things perpendicularly to the face of here. So it's coming out this direction, this direction, like this. So when we run it, if I press Alt A, you can see, well, there's not much. Let's crank up the intensity here. So really have it spitting out. And if you look close, it's just spitting out of all all of those faces like that and then if you look closely at the cone as well let me see if I rotate around there let's get back here let me make this so you can see this a little bit better so it doesn't cycle quite as far we'll just bring it down so it recycles like this now and here it's it's kind of uses the uh, total number of particles and it has to divide them between all the faces. So in this case, there's quite a few faces. There's all these faces, and then there's all these faces on the cone as well, right? So, but sometimes I don't want them to be emitted from the face of the object. Sometimes I want them emitted. Let me emit these a little bit faster, like this. Might be easier to see, like this. So uh, maybe I want them emitted a little bit differently. So let's use a a cleaner example. I'm going to stop this. I'm just actually going to I'm going to get rid of this object here and I'm going to get rid of this object here. And we'll use something simpler. We'll add a plane to the scene. Like that. Where is it? It's in the scene somewhere. I'm going to shift desk cursor to center shift desk selection to cursor. And then we'll go back to the center of the scene. All right. So we just have a regular plane and you know me. <laughs> I can't work unless it has a color. All right. Okay. Good enough. All right. And then we're going to give that a particle system as well. Give it a longer lifetime. Like this. And so again, it's nor by default, it emits from the face of the object in the perpendicular direction. Like this. That's easier to see like this. So maybe I'm moving this. Maybe I've rotated. Let's rotate this on X. A little bit more. And it's... We'll move it back over here. So it's shooting particles that direction like this. And I'm moving it, say, in the scene. I'm going to move... Maybe I want to move it along here and the particles are going this way, but I want to move, I want to have it move through the scene like this, facing that direction, but maybe I want the particles to shoot a different direction for whatever reason, right? So you don't use the normal anymore. We'll just go back to zero. So it's just falling in the scene like this, but maybe I wanted to move the particles this direction or along the x-axis. Now this with global and local axis is going to come into play here because if I change the emitter object and I say emit in x like this, you go, oh, okay, it's working, right? It's emitting in x. All right, how about if I emit, let's put that down to zero, and I emit in z instead. And suddenly it's emitting in y. Oh, wait a second, that doesn't make any sense, right? Okay, so I want to move it here. Now let's verify that. Let's, let's look from above. I've changed it, but it's emitting it in the Y direction. But no, I just changed it in Z. So I'm going to press Z. I'm going to, I'll make this 10 here. See what happens there. And now I'm saying I asked it to emit in the Y direction, but emits, it's emitting in the Z direction. That doesn't make any sense. Well, yes, it does make sense because these 
emitters work on the local axis. So when you switch to local mode, now your axes are pointing to the direction based upon this plane having been rotated. If I press N and come up here, notice we have a 80, negative 83 degree rotation on the plane. So now when we're emitting in the Y axis in 10, it's emitting it on the local Y axis like that. All right. So then when you're moving, then you can create your animation and move your objects through the scene. And then your particles can point whatever direction you want. Okay. Well, I hope that helps you in your animations. And I'll see you in the next lesson.